Hey, East Mount Zion. This is Pastor Brian Cash. Guess what? This is New Year's Eve. This is our first New Year's Eve time together. What a kind of complex experience uh, we are having now. Not being able to be together for our first New Year's Eve celebration, our first New Year's Eve worship experience. This is a little different for me because this is my first New Year's as pastor. So much has happened throughout this year. So much has transpired. I'm grateful for the journey the Lord has brought us through and the Lord has brought us to. And I'm even more excited about 2021 because 2021 presents greater opportunities to share the love of Christ and build the kingdom of God. Next year, which is tomorrow, starts what we will identify as a year of imagination. What does that word mean, imagination? Imagination for me means seeing through the eyes of God. Someone may say, why, we're not, why aren't we reimagining? Well, today I believe in the year of 2021, God is calling us to see through his eyes. And what God has for us is that scripture says a new thing. It is something that we have never experienced before. It is something that we have never seen before. And I am so excited about what the Lord is going to do in and through our lives. Before we begin this New Year's Eve experience, I want to share this song that my younger cousins put together. They did a wonderful job and I asked them, uh, to just prepare our hearts and minds for worship. So would you join with me in worship, prepare your hearts and minds for a worship experience by my younger cousin, uh, Christopher and Mike. Listen, listen to their worship experience. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good, yes, he is good. For he is worthy, worthy, for he is good, yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is worthy, worthy, for he Yes, he is good, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is good. Yes, he is good, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Happy New Year's, family. God bless. I hope you were blessed by my younger cousins, they did such a wonderful job. As we go into this new year, I, I really want to share a word because I, I've been saying that this year, coming into this next year is for us year of imagination. That word, imagination, as I have shared before, means seeing through the eyes of God. This morning, in our morning prayer call, and this is the plug, those of you who have not joined our morning prayer call at 6 a.m. Monday through Friday, 
you need to do so. The Lord laid it on my heart to go back to 2 Kings chapter 6. So 2 Kings chapter 6, there was a story. 2 Kings chapter 6, that there is a word and a familiar story actually about the prophet Elisha. Elisha is the understudy of the prophet that we know well, Elijah. You remember Elijah was on Mount Carmel fighting and, and combating those prophets of Baal. Elijah went against um, Jezebel and um, Ahab. You know, Elijah was uh, that major prophet and then gave uh, his mantle to Elisha. And in 2 Kings chapter 6, it is a beautiful story about how God allows Elisha to open the eyes of someone that was looking at something impossible, that was looking at something difficult, a challenge that was, you know, appearing in his life, appearing before them, and he could not see. I want you to catch this. He could not see how they would be able to make it out. And so Elisha prays, Lord, open his eyes. Let's listen to this story and then we'll unpack it just for a few moments because I, I believe this is so essential for this new year for all of us. As God opened our, opens our eyes to the very things that are going to be necessary for us to thrive and be successful throughout the year of 2021. Let's look at verse number 15. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 15. It says, when the servant of the man of God got up, he went out early the next morning. An army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Do not be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed, open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes. And he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elijah, I, I want you to pay attention to this story. That this story is about the king of the Armenians that has become upset with Elijah and his prophecy. They are upset because Elijah is prophesying on levels that they don't like. Because to be honest, Elijah is getting in the king's business. The king has an agenda. And because Elisha's prophecy is going forward, is messing up the king of the Armenians' agenda. And so he sets out uh, a, a track or a tra a, 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 an attack on Elisha and all of the rest of his prophets. And they send horses and chariots to come and attack them and kill them. And the prophet, the, the young servant, goes outside and sees all of these chariots and all of these horses, he's afraid because he thinks that they're going to be consumed. You go out and you see an attack uh, and all of these horses and all of these chariots that are coming to kill you, you'll be afraid too. It's kind of like an army coming to your house and they are coming to attack you. I would be afraid just like anybody would be. And so the young servant goes to the prophet and says, what are we going to do? And you know what the prophet says? Don't be afraid. I love what he says. He says, why? Because we have more on our side than they have on their side. That doesn't make any sense, especially when I see what they have on their side, especially when I see in the year of 2020, we probably won't, we never return back to worship, especially when I see in the beginning of 2021 and I hear Governor DeWine saying, you know, we're maybe moving into the purple and things are not getting better and this is happening and that is happening. 
When I see in front of me the impossibility of the task, when I see in front of me a building that cannot be restored, I lose hope. And that's what the servant did. But I love what Elijah says. Lord, open his eyes. Why would he say that? He says, open his eyes because he wanted the servant not to see what he saw, but be able to see what the Lord was actually doing in their lives. And this is really what I want to suggest to you. God wants you to see two things. He wants you to see his provision and his protection. And as you go in the year of 2021, you're going to see challenges. You're going to see new problems. You're probably going to see old problems because the problem of COVID is not going away. You're going to see new financial problems. You're going to see new career problems. And if you focus on what you see, you will not see God's provision. You will not see God's protection because all you are seeing is what, in, what is in front of you. But that's why the writer in Hebrew says faith is the substance of things hopeful and the evidence of things not what? Seen. What God wants you to do in the year of 2021 is to not see through your physical eyes, but get God lenses so that you can see his hand of provision and you can see his hand of protection. I don't know who that is for this, this, this evening as you move into the year of 2021. Maybe this word is something you'll reflect on as you get into the middle of 2021. And as you see some more of the challenges that you're going to experience, I want to encourage you to be the servant and let God open your eyes. Because when he opens your eyes, guess what you'll see? You'll see that God has more for you on your side than the enemy has on their side. Do, do not be weary. Do, do not lose heart. Do not lose faith. Do not be afraid. Do not allow what is in front of you to deter you from trusting in the God above you because the God above you provides provisions and the God above you provides protection. And you know the beautiful thing about the God above you? He's the same God next to you. He's the same God in front of you. He's the same God behind you. He's the same God within you. And as you move into this new year, know this is the year of imagination. Why? Because East Mount Zion, because people of God, because believers, God is saying, I want you to see what I have for you and what I have for you is greater than what you are seeing at this present time. And what you see is not my hand of provision. What you see is not my hand of protection. So what you need to do now is see through my eyes. Lord, my prayers, open our eyes so that we can see the provisions of God and the protection of God. Let's have a word of prayer and then we're gonna to get to our fun part. Gracious and kind God, we thank you. I thank you so much for all that you have done. But right now, God, as those who are watching this stream, as those who are watching this broadcast, I pray that you would touch their eyes, that you would do spiritual surgery on their eyes. So that as they move into the year of 2021, they're able to see what you are doing in their lives. They're able to see what you will do in their lives. And they're able to see how you are and forever will be working their plan, the plan that you have for them through your provision and through your prote protection. God, we give you thanks and give you praise. It's in your name we pray. Amen.
my East Mount Zion family. I'm so excited to be able to bring in the new year with you all. I hope that you have enjoyed our New Year's Eve virtual experience so far. Um, so now we're getting into the fun part. This is why I am I'm hosting this. Now, I want y'all to know I'm, I'm the fun. I'm not excited about this part. I anyway, this is where we get to see Pastor Cash and his bloopers across 2020. Do that it. was actually a blooper. <laughs> so we're going. Just keep going. Oh, okay. So this is where we see Pastor Cash and the rest of our East Mount Zion family who has been a part of our virtual experiences and all of their bloopers because you know that 2020 in and of itself is just a big blooper anyway. So this is going to be fun. So sit back, relax. It's going to be funny. Please send my husband texts of your favorite blooper of him. I will be taking a poll on which one should be posted all over social media. Now, before you all watch this, I want you all to know um, that this is all Jesse's fault. <laughs> right? This is just all Jesse's fault. Now, Jesse and I have been riding together all year long, um, doing our uh, uh, videoing. And I, now I want you all to know this year, you already know that it's not has been it's not has not been easy um, and transitioning from church in person to just looking at a screen um, has been a huge challenge, but a great opportunity. And uh, some of our encounters, Jesse and I recording Bible study, recording service uh, was just an amazing experience, but also a learning experience. So I'm, so, I'm grateful for the journey, I'm grateful for how God has been able to use those experiences. I mean, I haven't seen these videos yet. I have not seen any of these videos. I have not approved of any of these videos. However, I'm just grateful that Jesse and my wife uh, thought it thought it uh, be thought it to be a, a great experience for you all to be able to see behind the scenes. Right? Everyone sees the finished product, but no one sees behind the scenes. And sometimes behind the scenes experiences are something of um, something you really need to see, right? So Krista yes. doesn't really So everybody nice. sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. That means Paul. <laughs> yeah. We want to worship the Lord. We want to bring all of you joy. I was just wishing people a Merry Christmas. We want to just wish you a Merry... Merry, Merry Christmas. Why did you pause oh. like that? You want to like, finish it? That means Paul. The angels sing glory, glory, glory to the new boy king. Again. Jesus. Oh, not yet? Not yet. I know. Yeah, oh. watch him. Okay. Yeah. March 10th. March 10th. I can't wait. Ooh. Oh, we doing. We, why am I looking at this? We're not looking at that, right? Oh, so is, is this share right? Okay, that's how you want. Okay, cool. No, no, I just want to make sure. I ain't want to make. Cool. Dope, 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 dope. Like, uh, uh, what's it, Mr. Rogers? <laughs> hey everyone, this is Pastor Brian Cash and I want to welcome you to the living room. Guys in Gap, no, <laughs> I'm really Mr. Rogers, right? <laughs> Whew, can I, it can't see my, the, the, uh, cold, cause like, I, I, I see my breath. East Mount Zion Baptist Church at this moment. You can text EMZBC to the number seven seven to the number 
EMZ BC. You can text EMZ BC to the number seven seven nine seven seven. Okay. All right. I think I'm just like, all right, let's stop. <laughs> right? Oh man. Week, and there is one question that I'm going to raise one next week, and it's about the kingdom of God. It is that third and fourth petition. The kingdom come that will be done. And you know who you answered that qu you asked that question. And don't think that I haven't I wasn't able uh, I'll go back. Fathers can't know. So that you might be understand. Need some water, guys. <laughs> this is not okay. I pray that help and answered your question. Those of you who know you've been watching the living room, every that's not a that's not a that's not a that you have joined us at the living room. Okay. Let's go. I, 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 I just keep going there. Approach or approaching God. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna start over. Let me pray, amen. Uh, so today, although many of you uh, have, because uh, uh, I'm thinking I was supposed to have done Welcome to the Living and I ended the space even more. Okay. God, we thank you. Because in your name we pray, amen. Okay, cool. So you can listen. Yes. Okay, all right. No, we got to start off. Okay. Continue. Let me start over. Let me start over. Yep. All right. Well, give me the countdown. It does say the word um is like in it, so I don't know. If, I know it's a church meeting, so I don't know <laughs> if you are able to like cut that out or bleep bleep it out. I don't know. How do you feel about that? I, I get that out. I'm just curious how they got in there in the first place, though. We're rolling. Let's do this. Let's do this, Jesse. Let's let's cut cut the laugh. Have have the ability uh, to, uh, to 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 let, let me get that quote together because I think that's going to be a great quote. About to fry some fish at almost nine o'clock at night, but it's okay. Bro, all right. Bro, anytime, <laughs> any anytime you can get some fried fish, man, get it. All right. <laughs> oh no, Jesse, hey, no. Hey, listen, I, I we didn't had that conversation, man. We know you don't do it in the house, but listen, it's fried fish, okay? Well, no, that, that's her mama. My, okay. my mama don't do it. Okay. <laughs> But it's fried fish, bro. You know, I told you I am with my fried fish, man. Anytime, anywhere. <laughs> Anytime, anywhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Sister Cash. We <laughs> gonna pray for it. All right. And I'm looking here. I hope that everybody is in a good mood. We're post our uh, Christmas experience, so hopefully everybody's on a high. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that again. Sorry. <laughs> So I trust that you all still had a very, very Merry Christmas. Um, hmm. uh, where was I going from there? Yep. I'm ready.
So please, please, please comment. Let us know that you guys are listening, that you are here, that you are excited, that God is touching your heart. Send us an emoji, the hallelujah emoji, the praying hand emojis, whatever. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just send an amen, send a hallelujah. We want to know you guys are here and that you are being blessed by our, the worship experience. Everyone have a blessed day. I didn't like it that time. You know, I, I came in, Ty was holding some coffee in his hand. I said, Ty, can I please get some coffee? I said, yeah. Sitting in my office waiting on the coffee to come. <laughs> <Now>, yeah. <laughs> All right, can, can, uh, quiet on the set, quiet on the set. Quiet, quiet. Uh, send a mail check in order, mail, mail. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna start. You can. Well, he's preaching again today. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Good morning, East Mountain. How are you doing? Thank you, man. <laughs> it's paid off. <laughs> round us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. That's it. I think they hear that, that sound in the back. <laughs> Testing, one, two, okay. Um, wait a minute. Love my deacons. Thank I you. just love. And the church said, amen. 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 May the Lord bless you and keep you. <laughs> I hope you all didn't laugh too much. And my wife thought it was just about her, but there were some videos in here, in there about uh, my wife and showing some of her bloopers. You mean it was just about you? No, yeah, there was something in there about you as well. But it's, it's okay because we are all imperfect beings and we are all serving the perfect God. It's just some are more perfect. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Well, you know, that it has been a journey. It has been a great journey, um, but it's been a God journey. And um, you do not take God journeys without God. And as we enter into this new year, um, we enter into this new year only by the power and the ability and the direction and the wisdom of God. We, if we're going to see through the lens or the eyesight of God, we need the power of God to do so. And the power of God is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit works in us only by us having communication with God. So um, as we end our New Year's experience, this is what we're gonna do. Krista and I are gonna cover you in prayer. We're gonna pray for you. Uh, we're going to pray that the Lord continues to lead you and guide you as you move through the year of 2021. We know uh, that the year of 2021 um, may not be easy. It probably will not be easy. No, it will not be easy because nothing comes easy, especially for the believer in Christ. And so uh, we need the power of God and we need God to be able to guide our lives. So right now, uh, Lady Krista is going to cover you in prayer, and then I'm going to cover you in prayer and give you the Lord's benediction. Absolutely. 
Father God, I just, first of all, thank you for the year of 2020. I know that it has come with a lot of hardships, Father, but you remain faithful. And I thank you so much just for your goodness and your faithfulness over our lives. Thank you, Father, for keeping us. I pray, Father, I thank you just for the comfort that you have given us for those who have lost loved ones this year. I pray, Lord, that 2021 is a year to remember. Father, I thank you that 2021 is going to be a year where you get the glory. And it's just so clear that you have been working, even during the turmoil and things that appear to be chaos. Father, you have been working and um, your glory will shine. So I thank you so much for that, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would Protect our East Mount Zion family tonight, Father, and I pray that you just continue to encourage them to keep pushing forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's pray. God, we come to you at this moment. This moment as we end 2020. 2020 has been a year of change, a year of transition, a year where we've been pushed out of our comfort zones. 2020 has been a year where we've had to come from the four walls of the church and go to places unknown. 2020, we had first in all of our lives, had challenges where we could not even come to the sanctuary at funerals and celebrations of life. 2020, has been a year of difficulty. And God, there have been those who had to sit in hospital beds without any visitation. There have been those who have been quarantined in their homes for weeks after weeks, dealing with depression and dealing with all kinds of things. This year has presented some major challenges. But God, through it all, we thank you for how you have used the challenges of this year to propel us to purpose. We thank you for how you've used the challenges of this year to draw us nearer and closer to you to the point that we were able to hear your voice in ways we've never heard your voice before. We thank you, O oh God, for the work that you allow East Mount Zion to do in the community and touching lives that we have never touched before. We thank you for the interactions we've had with families and thank you for the work our ministries have done and thank you for the work that our people have done. Thank you for preserving our church. when We didn't even know how we were going to make it. But right now, God, we look forward to 2021. We look forward to a year that we have never experienced before. We look forward to a year of new opportunities. We look forward to a year of new challenges. We look forward to a year of new opportunities to be able to serve you and serve your people. Right now, God, I cover every single member of the East Mount Zion Baptist Church. I cover every single member in the name of Jesus, knowing God that under your guidance and under your wisdom, God, everything will be all right. I pray, oh God, that you will continue to lead us. I pray, oh God, that you will continue to direct us. I pray, oh God, for our country. I pray, oh God, for our society, that you will continue to do what you do best in the world and in this place. God, as we shift into the new year, as we begin the new year, let us follow you and not follow our own wisdom. Let us follow you and not follow our own guidance. Let us trust in you and totally depend upon you. We know, God, everything will be all right. We lift up now those who have lost family members this year. And as they enter this next year, God, remind them, God, that you are the God that stays with us and never leaves us. God, we give you thanks. And we pray, oh God, that you would continue to bless Krista and I as we continue to lead your church into the next era, into the next space that you have called us to go. God, give us imagination. Check our eyesight so that we can see through your eyes. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, brothers and sisters, I want to wish you all a happy new year. I'm so excited about what the Lord is going to do in our lives and in your life. 
I am excited about the year of imagination. Can you say that with me? Year of imagination. So from Krista and I, we say happy, happy new, new year. year. We love you guys. Let's give the Lord's benediction. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face ever shine upon you. May he lift you up with his countenance and give you peace. May he bless you in your going in and your going out, in your rising and even in your falling. May the Lord be a blessing to all of you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>